I didn't wake up today to make this video. I had no intentions of making a video today. But Photoshop for iPad came out. Well, I read about it this morning and I was very excited, like some of you guys probably were. Um, that excitement lasted for a good minute or so until I actually downloaded it and put it on the iPad. And in this video, I'm going to show you why Photoshop for iPad sucks. It just really sucks for digital colorists. So stay tuned. And you know what? No, let's not do the intro. Screw the intro. Let's get this over with. Uh, it doesn't have a magic wand. Number one, Photoshop. The people that invented the magic wand, I think. <laughs> it doesn't have a magic wand. I'm going to repeat that. It doesn't have a magic wand. Do I need to say anything else about that? Okay, good. Moving on, number two, the lasso. You're like, well, at least we have the lasso tool. Not really, there's no options hardly at all. Um, you can't turn off anti-aliasing, so if you make a selection and fill it with a color, you can see we've got a great little aliased line there, which is not at all what you want, usually when you're flatting or trying to make a clean selection, there's no option to turn off anti-aliasing at all in, in Photoshop. Yeah, okay. Uh, what else? Um, the lasso tool. They're still doing that sort of archaic thing where you lift your finger and it immediately closes. Um, there's no reason for this. Uh, all it does is make selections more difficult. Uh, you also can't do point-to-point -point selections like you can in a lot of apps with the lasso tool. So you normally you could maybe lift your finger here and then draw a straight line, but no, you just, as soon as you lift your finger, it's gonna close. It just doesn't make any sense to have that. I don't like it. It doesn't really work very well on an iPad. So yeah, that's not any good either. What else? Uh, yeah, there's no po uh, polygonal tool. Like there's no switching back and forth between the freehand and the polygonal tool. I don't, I don't even know if there is a polygonal version. I'm not, it doesn't, there doesn't appear to be. So you can't draw a straight line with the lasso tool, and you can't use a magic wand because it doesn't exist. So I'm not sure how you make selections in this, um, to be perfectly honest. One thing Mark Sweeney pointed out on Twitter that I didn't notice this morning also is there are no filters either. So that's, I'm sure, coming. They're talking about this is, a, you know, I guess this is, it feels all very half-baked and, and not finished and uh, honestly this app is absolutely useless okay I mean there's some of you that are like well you know you don't complain about procreate because it doesn't have a magic wand I actually complain about procreate not having a magic wand quite a bit but they do at least have a feature auto select or whatever it's called the automatic selection tool that will sort of act as a magic wand it still doesn't grab things that aren't adjacent I'm gonna make another video on that procreate's not getting off the hook on this either but at least you have something you can use. Uh, you might have to click several times to get a selection uh, if they're separated, but they're, they're, there's no magic wand here. I don't know. I think this video is over. Uh, do, you, do you need any other reasons not to try this? Uh, it's also subscription-based. I know everyone's a big fan of the subscriptions. Yeah, it's part of CC if you have that. If you're already paying for that, you get it. And that's why I was able to get it, because I've am i got the CC package with all the stuff in it. But, um, yeah, I, I think I think this is it for this video. First impressions, it's terrible, waste of time, and um, I would say try something, some other app. Um, Art Studio Pro is a better Photoshop for iPad than Photoshop for iPad. That sounds crazy to say but it's true. So yeah, try it out. Um, Clip Studio, of course, is available. You guys know I'm, I'm not a huge fan of, of, of Clip Studio, but it's the closest thing we have to a, a fully functioning uh, Photoshop equivalent. Those are my thoughts on Photoshop for iPad. I don't know how well you can color with it because I wouldn't even try. So yeah, I feel like this video could have been a minute long. Maybe I'll try to cut it down to that. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.